Happy dinner time, everybody. The 75th Annual National High School Finals Rodeo starts Sunday in Gillette. Dakota Territory Cowboys and Cowgirls are ready to compete with the best in the country. Now caught up with a group who is ready to show what it can do on the big stage. Let's take a look at the champ. Our area will once again be well represented at this year's National High School Finals Rodeo. Sturgis's Cash Krogman is set to compete in bull riding, while Sturgis's Cashton Ford qualified in bareback. Yeah, it feels good. Last year, I well, I had kind of tough luck in the short go and didn't make it to nationals, so it feels good to be back. Pretty amazing. Uh, last year, I didn't even make it to state, and then going winning state and then going to nationals is a pretty big deal for me. It, pretty proud of it. For Hereford, Stane Elsher, this is his fourth trip to the National High School Finals Rodeo. He comes from a well-known rodeo family and is qualified in both bull riding and saddlebrook. Let's see, I started out bull riding for a while as a junior junior and kind of picked that up through high school and then there my freshman year my dad got me talked into riding a bronc and just kind of picked her up from there and it's been really enjoyable since. Oh, I got started with my parents both rodeo and it's been my family forever and so as soon as I was old enough I just started rodeoing and started from there. These Cowboys are focused on wrapping up their high school career with a strong showing in Gillette and it's a chance for their years of training and practice to pay off. I was about probably a fifth grader when I, I started riding steers and then started getting on like junior bulls but Mom and Dad didn't like that, so I started riding bareback horses. About 16, and I was at the New Labor Day Rodeo, and that just kind of made me want to ride bulls, so I went to my cousin's house and got on a couple of their rope and steers, and here I am. Top golfers seated up at Arrowhead for the SDGA's Match Play Championships today. At the par 4 ninth hole, Rapid City's Mike Rodas has the long putt for par. He reads it well and sinks it to Sturgis's Tate McVeigh, who we talked about quite a bit in his high school days. He drops the putt home to match the par, so McVeigh and Rodas have the hole. Now to the men's senior division, Sioux Falls' Sean Farrow with the putt for par on three. Take a look at this ball as it stops on the lip of the hole, thinks about it but doesn't drop in. Farrah did tap in for bogey, which was good enough to win the hole. The ladies will tee it up tomorrow for their first round at the match play championships. The Mitchell Baseball Association announced today it is terminating the remainder of the Legion team season. There is currently an investigation that is being conducted by law enforcement regarding inappropriate behavior by team members. Yesterday it was announced the team would, would resume, but after receiving new information from law enforcement, the association determined to terminate the remainder of the season. Tonight, Little League sub districts will have highlights of that for you back here at 9 and 10. That's a look at sports.